Okay, have a nice day. Okay. Smith's Pizza Palace Plus in Emporia, Pennsylvania. We're in the middle of nowhere. We're in be halfway between Pittsburgh and Erie. That's what I tell everybody anyway. This is a 22 ounce dough ball. We're making a 14 inch Cajun chicken pizza. Cajun wing sauce so all over it. I'm not going to pull a whole lot on here. It's a, ours is homemade, but we're just painting this on. We're going to be putting on 10 ounces of this is mozzarella and provolone mixed. I'm not going to put all the cheese on. I want to save a little bit of the top of the pie. I just want to scoop it evenly. Get any on the crust, you can just pull it up. We'll get a, three ounces of marinated chicken. This is already been chopped up. Just some more over the sauce. If I were to not have sauce on there, I might have to put the chicken underneath the cheese. Go around the outside first, and whatever's left on my pan here will distribute on the inside of the pot. As it cooks, it has a tendency to drop toward the center anyway. About a quarter cup of celery for this size pie. About a quarter cup of bacon. This is crumpled bacon. A little bit goes a long way. The rest of our cheese. The finishing touch is a little bit of oregano, Parmesan and Romano cheese. I'm going to cook this for about seven minutes. Ah, uh, 600 degrees for about seven minutes. After about after six minutes, you take it off the screen and then the, the bottom of the pizza has to brown yet. The last, the last thing to go on this is the blue cheese. Right. That's the award where yeah, the only thing you don't see is the, the swirl of blue cheese on the top. Other than that, that's it. I'm just tossing out the skin for a, a taco pizza. We don't use any special dough for it. We don't use any mozzarella provolone cheese on this. We use just a cheddar cheese blend. For a 14 inch pie, we're going to go with 10, inch, 10 ounces of cheese. That's a, a cheddar Monterey Jack cheese. My old salsa right out of the jar. Give me a taco pizza without taco meat. I'm just getting a four ounce portion cut. And about a quarter cup of fresh tomatoes. And again, I want to put the tomatoes on top because they're watery and that'll let some of that water evaporate as it cooks. So we're going to cook that for a total of about seven minutes. That varies, might be 30 seconds up to a minute, depending on how hot your oven is. Just want to make sure the bottom of the pizza is brown. Paint the crust of butter garlic. I'm just going to throw a handful of lettuce on there. Now we'll get served with sour cream. <laughs> Some customers like their salads or their pasta served in a bread bowl. That's real simple to make. Just a regular bowl, you can buy your Dollar General store. We're going to butter it up to keep the dough from sticking on it. This uh, about eight ounces of dough. Hammer it out a little bit with our fingertips. And just throw it on the bowl, pull it down. So put some holes on here so it doesn't stick into the bowl and let some of the air escape. And then we'll cook out for six minutes. Some burnt garlic. A little bit of Parmesan or Romano cheese. A little bit of oregano. And that's all there is to it. We have customers get soups in there, pasta, salad, and you can't beat the price of it.